Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. You all know our revision classes are going on. Now, everyone, take your English for today book, classwork copy, pen, and start solving the exercises of today's class. Everyone, open Unit 9, Lesson 6, on the page number 121, and go through the text. After reading the text, you will have to answer questions 1 and 2. Now everyone, read the text and answer questions 1 and 2. Part A, scene part. Question number 1. Choose the correct answer. To each question from the alternatives given and write the corresponding number of the answers in your answer script. Students, you will have to write down all the answers of the exercises in your classwork copy. Number A. The word communication means options are civilization realization contact globalization here the answer will be option number three contact number b the word restricted in line 7 of the text means options are sufficient, unlimited, refined, confined. Here answer will be option number 4 confined number C which one was an ancient writing material options are metal sheet paper computer laptop By going through this passage, I think you can answer this one. The answer will be option number 1, metal sheet. Number D, though writing was invented very early, paper is a more dash invention. Options are primitive, recent, ancient, greater. Here the answer is option number 2, recent. Number E, our life has been changed dash by the invention of paper options are gradually greatly slowly by stages
I think you can answer it. Answer is option B. Option number two here greatly. Number F. Knowledge was very limited in pre paper age, paper age, post paper age, modern age. Answer will be option number one pre paper age. Number G. What was difficult before the invention of paper? Options are to express thoughts in writing, to exchange thoughts in writing, to preserve thoughts in writing, to communicate thoughts in writing. Here, the answer is option number 3, to preserve thoughts in writing. Come to question number two. Answer the following questions from your reading of the above text. Number A. Question number A. How did people share ideas before the invention of writing? I am telling the answers along with the questions. Question number A. How did people share ideas before the invention of writing? Answer Before the invention of writing, people shared ideas through speaking and listening. I am telling the answer again. Before the invention of writing, People shared ideas through speaking and listening. Question number B. Why was it tough to record thoughts in writing in the past? Why was it tough to record thoughts in writing in the past? Answer It was tough to record thoughts in writing in the past because writing materials were not available then. I am telling the answer again. It was tough to record thoughts in writing in the past because writing materials were not available then. Question number C. What did people use for writing before paper age? Answer. 
before paper age people used the surface of stone metal wood bark leaves etc for writing i am telling the answer again before paper age people used the surface of stone metal wood bark leaves etc for writing question number d communication of ideas is at the center of civilization do you support it explain why your answer is yes or no answer yes i support the statement that communication of ideas is at the center of civilization it is because civilization can flourish only when the spread of knowledge and information is ensured i'm telling the answer again listen it carefully boys answer of question number d yes i support the statement communication of ideas is at the center of civilization it is because civilization can flourish only when the spread of knowledge and information is ensured question number 3 read the following text and fill in the gaps with appropriate words to make it a meaningful one students you all know it is a text based fill in the gaps and you must need to write down the answers based on the text thinking how people suffer in the heat kartik poramanik began his tree planting mission full stop dash kartik would wake up early in the morning take one or two laborers with him and dash out to plant trees he would walk long dash to plant trees carrying with him some dry food and water he would pay all the dash from his own pocket kartik has planted trees beside the roads in and dash in the bazaar schools and colleges open fields and many other places
you all know you have to answer these text based fill in the gaps with the textual answers i'm telling the answers of this fill in the gaps question number 3 thinking how people suffer in the heat kartik koramanik began the history plantation mission number a occasionally here the spelling is O C C A S I O N A L L Y occasionally I'm telling it again O C C A S I O N A L L Y and O will be capital letter occasionally kartik would wake up early in the morning take one or two laborers with him and number b set s e t set number b s e t set and set out to plant trees he would walk long distances number c distances d i s t a n c e s i'm telling it again d i s t a n c e s distances he would walk long distances to plant trees carrying with him some dry food and water he would pay all the number d expenses e x p e n s e s expenses e x p e n s e s expenses number d is expenses he would pay all the expenses from his own pocket kartik has planted trees beside the roads in and number e around a r o u n d around in and around the bazaar schools and colleges open fields and many other places part b unseen part boys everyone read the following text and answer questions 4 and 5 you all know this passage is unseen and from this unseen passage you will have to write down the answers of question number 4 and 5 so everyone go through this passage with me john keats was not only a deeply thoughtful poet but also the most studious and inspired artist 
among the romantics of the 19th uh, 19th century he was born on october 31 1795 in england he lost his father at the age of 9 at 15 he lost his mother in 1811 john keeps became an apprentice to a surgeon at edmonton during 1815 to 1817 he continued his studies at the london hospitals but he did not like medicine and felt that he was born to be a poet finally he returned to literature from surgery he wrote several sonnets which with all their maturities did not attract much attention it was followed in 1818 by the long narrative poem endymion which received warm praise from his friends he felt very depressed at the death of his brother tom in the same year kids published one more volume hyperion and other poems in 1820 kids has seen a premature uh, kids has seen a premature death he was suffering from consumption as a last hope in september 1820 He left England for Italy with his friend Joseph Severn. He died in Rome at the age of 26 and was buried in the old Protestant cemetery. The first memorial to Keats was made in the parish church. of Hampstead on July 16, 1894. In 1909, the house in which Keats died was opened as a Keats Shelley Memorial. The Keats Museum was opened in 1931. now everyone come to question number 4 complete the table below write no more than 3 words and or numbers for each answer boys you all know you have to answer question number 4 within just 3 words you can't exceed 3 words to write down the answers of information transfer and you have to write down only the answers at first mention the numbers then write down only the answers the first sentence there are four columns who what description where when to make a for uh, to make the first sentence kids a romantic poet 
dash there is number one is gap 19th century boys pick the answer question number one is England the gap is in the column of where so here the answer will be England then the second one he dash Edmonton 1811 he number two the gap is in the description column he dash Edmonton 1811 so I think you picked the answer it is a surgeon's apprentice number two answer is a surgeon's apprentice then the third sentence number three is gap in the column who or what received warm praise from his friends in 1818 so boys who or what received warm praise from his friends in 1818 it will be endymion endymion e n d y a m i o n endymion it is a long narrative poem then kids died rome dash number 4 is gap in the column when boys here in this passage you can see the line before the last line kids died not la not before the last line the fourth line he died in Rome at the age of 26 and was buried in the old protestant cemetery so boys we can find here kids died at the age of 26 but for this information transfer we have to find out the year now everyone see in the passage the third line from the starting he was born on October 31, 1795 in England. Here we can find John Keats was born on October 31, 1795. Now everyone with 1795 at 26. Then you will find the year add 26 with 1795 and answer is 1821
kids died in Rome in 1821. Then the last sentence number five is gap. Number five is gap in the column who or what was opened 1909. Answer is Keats Shelley Memorial. Keats Shelley Memorial was opened in 1909. Now come to question number five. Read the passage again and write whether the statements are true or false. Give correct answer if the statement is false. Number A. John Keats was the most studious and inspired romantic poet. John Keats was the most studious and inspired romantic poet. It is true. It is true. Then number B. He lost his parents at an early age. He lost his parents at an early age. It is also true. Then number C. He discontinued his study on medicine. He discontinued his study on medicine. It is also true. Then number D. Kids was suffering from constipation. It is false. Correct answer is Kids was suffering from consumption. Number E. His sonnets earned much popularity. It is false. Correct answer. His sonnets failed to earn much popularity. I am telling the answer again. His sonnets failed. F-A-I-L-E-D. Failed to earn much popularity. Boys, I hope... Everyone, you have written the answers of the exercises in your classwork copy. You will get a notice regarding your class test 2 of English first paper. So boys, get ready and prepare well for the class test 2 that's all for today's class take care of yourself and your family members goodbye everyone